you know you've been living in Mexico a long time when you walk out your front door, start to shiver, decide it's too cold, go back inside, put a coat on, and when you check the temperature, it's almost 70 degrees. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alex, and I'm an American expat who's called Querétaro, Mexico home since 2017. For practical advice and honest insight, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new episode every Thursday. In recent weeks, several subscribers have reached out to ask about the current state of things in Querétaro. Many of you are interested in moving here and understandably want to know what to expect when you arrive. The overwhelming majority of people in Querétaro wear masks in public and I feel quite safe being out and about in the city center. As of early November, the state remains in Semáforo Naranja. You can learn more about Mexico's stoplight system in my video about Mexico tourism, which I will link in the description below. To help give you an idea of what life in Querétaro, Mexico is like right now, I'm taking you with me to brunch at my new favorite restaurant in the city center. Seating is very limited, so it's best to make a reservation in advance. All diners are required to submit to a temperature check before entering. We decided to try one of the artisanal beverages, or I decided to rather, Taylor has Café de Olla, and I went for the ponche, and it's got a mix of yellow fruits in here with some mint, and I think there's, oh, looks like there's some star fruit, and it smells absolutely heavenly. I'm just waiting for it to cool down a little bit so I can have a sip. Oh yeah, that's good, that's good. Tastes like Christmas. I feel like we just ordered and our food is already here. It was such a tough decision. There were so many amazing sounding plates on the menu, but I ended up going with the huevos a la mexicana. Um, well, there's like some type of guisado in them and these beans, we've had them at dinner before here and they are seriously so, so good. But look how pretty this plate is. On our way leaving Pia Cocina, we saw our friend Alberto, our neighbor, our friend, and our first Airbnb host here in Querétaro, who actually showed us the Hercules Cerveceria, Cerveceria Hercules. So we saw him out walking his dog and stopped to chat, but great brunch at Pia. Um, that was our first time brunching there. We usually go for dinner and they are equally amazing. I really like their wine and beer selection at night, so. If you need a date night idea in Querétaro, check it out. Now we are headed over to a little pop-up bazaar, but, oh, some loud music. But it looks like up ahead, some sort of protest is happening in the street. If you're going to be in Querétaro, I highly recommend checking to see if Trebu Bazar is also going to be in town. This pop-up market features products from all over Mexico, including clothes, jewelry, natural cosmetics, and mezcal. Follow them on Instagram to find out when and where they'll be in Querétaro. All right, we just left the bazaar, and what do you think of Taylor's new mask? What'd you say? 
pretty cool, right? I bought him, last time we were at the bazaar a few weeks back, I bought him a shirt with that exact same print and he went back today and got the matching mask. So very cool, lots of awesome stuff there. I ended up buying a few pins, a little earring. Taylor got a craft beer, right? Yes. A craft beer, some patches, and a shirt, I think. Did you get a shirt? A t-shirt. So just a cool thing to look around and see what there is. It was really full of vendors today. I've never seen it that full. And I could have spent a lot more time and a lot more money there. You can probably hear, but she is wrapping up a pot like this for me. But I am still thinking hard about this big one for our living room. What do you think? Should I come back and buy it? Thanks for carrying home my big pot, Taylor. You're welcome. Hello. This is our neighbor's dog. She's so sweet. Like I said, we are back at home now. I've got my new pot here that I need to unwrap, decide where I want to put it, decide what plant I want to put in it. I'm in the process right now of giving our living room a little bit of an update. So I'm super excited because we have a new couch coming next Friday. And I plan on filming a little video, kind of an update to our apartment house tour. So keep an eye out if you're interested in that. If you haven't seen my original apartment tour where I also go over the cost of living here in Querétaro, then definitely check that out. A lot of people have watched it and a lot of people have found it helpful. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little morning in the life, day in the life. I think I'm going to make this kind of a bonus mini vlog um, on my channel and post it this coming week, sort of in addition to my usual Thursday video. If you enjoy seeing videos like this, if you enjoy seeing day in the life vlogs, kind of what I get up to on a normal day here in Querétaro, then let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and I will try to work filming more of these in the future. I'll try to work more of those into my schedule. If you have any questions just in general about living in Mexico, then you can also leave those comments below and I will definitely answer them. I'm Alex from BackpackingBrunette.com. Thanks for watching.